All right, guys, name is Tyler, aka Nanogenix, and today, guys, we are hopping back in on some summons. Honestly, just because, I'm gonna be real with you guys, I'm just kind of sort of hopping back in. I wouldn't mind dupes of this guy right here. Um, wouldn't mind dupes of her, I need one more dupe. I have the medals, I could awaken her to her TUR state, but if I'm able to pull one of her today, then I would just rather wait and do that than having to reverse her. This Kale looks awesome, awakened. Seriously, I know I've already seen it and I've already covered it, but it does. Of course, he looks great. We already know that. Khalifa also looking pretty legit. Now, I'm gonna go over to this screen real quick. Let's click on the button. Come on, come on, we got that multi. And uh, if you guys don't follow me on Twitter, it's Anhandlegenix, in case you want to. Uh, right before doing this, I ended up getting a six drop. I was running uh, if that team that you just saw. I got six drops for uh, Kels. Freaking legit, man. Anyways, real quick. Guys, soon on the channel, I'm gonna be unboxing a booster box for the brand new Dragon Ball Super card game, Cross Worlds, which has some pretty awesome cards in it. But, Bondi Namco hooked me up with several, I'm not kidding, several of these right here. I'm gonna give them away to you guys. Now, details on that will be in that video, so stay tuned for when I unbox this guy right here. It's not live yet. It's not live yet, but it will be very soon. Uh, if you're watching this a few days from now, this could be live. Go over there, check it out. Check out the details on how to enter, but I will be unboxing this guy right here. Now then, back to Dokkan Battle. Just letting you guys know, for those of you that uh, maybe have never checked out the Dragon Ball Super Kai game, it's actually really cool. It's pretty much like, once I unbox this, it's literally like doing uh, IRL uh, summons, pretty much. Um, this, this set's actually pretty cool. It has one secret rare, which I believe is obtained, um, or it's, they... It's on average, it's one per like box of these. So like the actual overall box, it contains like eight or 12 booster boxes that they sell to vendors. There's like a round one per one of those. So the chances of me getting this and this entire booster box are actually pretty slim, but it's a secret rare SSJ4 Goku that looks awesome. There are, let me see, what are the stats here? There are 14 super rares and four special rares. The special rares are just uh, different, four different versions, Four different cards that are different versions of some of the super rares. Yes, 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 yes. That is all paths opened on my Kefla. Thank you. Yeah, see, see what I'm saying? This is why I waited. This is why I waited. Anyway, because uh, that would have just been, I just had to reverse her and then it would have been pointless. Anyway, they are just basically different hollow patterns and a little bit of a different card art for the, uh, for the special rares versus the uh, super rares. So anyway, there is a UI Goku in this as well. There's a UI Goku in this set, two UI Gokus. There's one that is a super rare, one that is also a special rare. So anyways, I'll be unboxing that soon. And like I said, if you're watching this video and it's been a good minute, then um, you know the video's been live for a day or two. You may check the channel. You may just click on Nanogenix down there below me. Go check the channel, see if it's live. Look for the details if you wanna get one of these because I will, I will give you guys a couple days for that to be live. Um, and then I may even give one away over on my Twitter as well, so. Uh, deep full details. I'm gonna figure all that out soon and uh, that'll all be disclosed in the video when I unbox this bad boy right here So anyway shout out to Bonnie Namco for that and just thought I would include it here in this video real quick too For those of you that maybe aren't familiar with it I know they have ads on it on Dokkan whenever you load it up, but it actually is really cool. It is really cool um, I haven't actually got to play it outside of just doing the testing They have they have an app that you can sort of play around and, and play against a computer on so I haven't got to play it like IRL yet uh, and if you guys know anything about me, I'm huge into the old score DBZ collectible card game. Uh, I dabbled in the Panini one when they revamped it uh, a few years back. It got shut down early last year, unfortunately. Uh, I think they pretty much just came out and said, we don't want to compete with the actual official Dragon Ball card game from Bandai. So we'll just go ahead and hang our hat here, kind of sort of thing. They're now doing an Attack on Titan collectible card game, Panini is, which is pretty cool. Uh, but yeah. Anyways, the reason why I mentioned the Kel is that's why my box is always maxed out. You guys know I'm always struggling. For, uh, bo for box space, and that is why, is because, we're killing the left by the way, is because I pulled, si I not pulled, I got six of her to drop at one time, you know how beautiful that is now? That would have been six runs before, and it's not even a guaranteed drop anyway, so that would have been possibly more than six runs, so it's now that they, it's cool they added that um, a certain categories have a higher drop rate for things, like when you go into uh, the Hercule statue farming one each day, if you go into the World Tournament team, I'm uh, much higher, you increase your chances of getting more of them, sometimes you can walk away with several, it's awesome. Super freaking cool. Anyway, uh, real quick, let's get through this multi. And I got—I want to show you guys something cool. I opened one myself. I was going to show you guys the cards that came with it. Would like to pull you, I Goku. So what is the, what is the goal now? We've pulled a Kefla, so we're good there. I need Jiren dupes and you, I Goku dupes. I'm good on Kells. I'm good on Khalifa's. Wow, it gave me the Kefla, and then it was like, you're good, Nano. You're good. All right, check these out though. These are two of the cards that you will get in this if you win one of these. Slash, if you just go pick one up yourself. 
see if we can get that to focus in. Look at them! They look freaking sick. I'm not gonna lie, this is a this is your leader card. So it has this half, and then coming full round on this side, you got SSJ3 Bardock. Anyway, back to the summons. I'm gonna do one more here, and then we're going to do a group summon together, and then I'll then we'll finish up the video. Uh, I would like to think that I walk away with the UI Goku or Jiren today. Um, you know, there's not that many, there's not many featured units. So like, I would like to think that if it decides he wants to give me a featured unit, there's a pretty high chance it's gonna be one of those. What is, who's all on this banner? It's, um, oh, okay, her, yes. I, I'm okay with her as well, because she's actually pretty good. And uh, she does fit on the Tournament of Power team. I'm sorry, Universal Survival Art team, which is pretty legit. When Jiren awakens, it's gonna be, it's gonna be interesting. I'm definitely, I'm definitely gonna be intrigued to try that team out. I like the new Jiren card. If you guys didn't check out my Ultra Instinct team, uh, video. I use the Jiren just because he's a new card. I'm not saying he's like super optimal at this current time. That's another SSR I'm featured. Another weird thing about today's video, it, it literally, I'm just it just summons just because. It just summons for fun and all that. Uh, and the reason why it's more for fun is because I already have the Jiren, so I'm not like super desperate for a card or anything. I just really want dupes. Haven't done a whole lot of summons on the channel lately, and I just kind of wanted to hop in and do some summons. Um, but I. Uh, there's no way of, of pulling LR, so it's kind of a, a weird one. So you can't, there's no way to title this LR Summons. There's no chance of pulling an unfeatured LR or anything like that. Um, it's a Dokkan Fest banner without any of that in here. So that's definitely a weird feeling, but also at the same time, maybe maybe a little nice, just kind of, because there's not that like, like if I don't get anything here, I probably I might hop back in one more time before the banner goes away, but I'm not like super tempted to just keep going in try and get dupes of an LR or a brand new LR or whatever it might be. All right, guys, I'm hopping in to the group summon. If you never tried this, consider hopping in today. Consider, you know, just doing a little group summon with your boy Nanogenix. Let's uh, let's pull back here. Chrome cast me, picture and picture me, throwing Chromebooks, MacBooks, stone tablets, regular tablets, all those things. Let's group summon together, guys. I'm counting us down, three, two, one, go, and then we're on a summon. Three, two, one, go. Is that going SSJ? That is going Super Saiyan, holy crap. SSJ two. We may actually get something on the group summon. Holy crap. Oh, I'm kidding. That is an SR Beerus. Anyway, there we go. We are now only two multi summons away from the end of this video. If you're new to the channel and you haven't done so yet, and you enjoy what you're seeing, consider going down there, subscribing, and joining the hashtag Nano, <laughs> Nano Fam today. Also, the Nano Jennings today. The Nano Fam today. Get to slap a like on today's video for this Hercule on the left. Pulling back. Okay, we're going to see what Never mind. Come on. All right, as long as we have the two, I don't care, man. I had, what was it, a week ago, two weeks ago, something like that, I had one stay, it was either stay base form or when SSJ won, it did not crack the screen. That's super depressing. Um, ah, yes! There we go, there we go. All right, all right, so we got the Kefla, we got the Jiren, we got uh, another Android 18, and uh, and also what, what, with that SSJ3 Vegeta. Dude, the, again, the only thing right now that would make this video any better would be pulling an alternate and say Goku! Yes! Yes! That's what I'm talking about, man. Oh my gosh, dude. Mm. Mm. Dude, the, again, the only thing right now that would make this video any better would be pulling an alternate and say Goku! Yes! Yes! That's what I'm talking about, man. Oh my gosh, dude. Mm. Mm. What a multi, man. What a multi. Getting Jiren and the UI Goku all in the same one, dude. That is sick. That is sick. All right, so um, that is now top left on the UI Goku because I, I I did a uh, I did a couple singles on camera and pulled a UI Goku uh, a couple days ago before I did the Ultra Instinct team. Uh, showcase so that is top left for this guy then that is bottom right for this guy because of course I've already SA 10 my gear and I had a ton of those um, Strength Elder Kai sitting there from the Perunga wishes as well as when they read it or the uh, we hit number one in the App Store for like the third time or whatever They gave a bunch they gave all the Perunga wishes back out again Whatever was the top voted one or top used one which of course people wanted the uh, the Grand Kai So anyways, that was a sick multi dude. I don't even care 100% successful video, guys. We pulled everything I just said, can we pull today? Which is why I was hopping back in, and was why I just said summons just because. Because if I don't pull them, it's not like super detrimental. I have the units to make showcases on and to throw into teams and do all kinds of stuff like that. It was literally just, if I can get dupes, great. If I don't, then we'll probably hop back in one more time before the banner goes away, and hopefully we get them then sort of situation. So, anyway, sick. 
Sick, sick, sick. No matter what happens in this final one, we pulled the Kefla. I can now rainbow her if I want to. We pulled top left of the UI Goku. He now has all the additionals and criticals available to him. Uh, statistically, the I mean, I've already got him pretty far just from stat-wise, attack, HP, and defense because bottom right does so much more than everything else. But uh, it definitely is nice to have those additionals and criticals added as well. Jiren's bottom right, though, definitely makes him a significantly beefier character. Uh, so whenever I do finally do my Tournament of the Power sort of team showcase, he'll be looking nice. All right, guys, there you go. There you go, there you go, there you go. Stay tuned for this. I know I probably said this a lot, but sometimes I get in video mode and I say I repeat myself a lot. But I will be doing this, unboxing this. It will be fun. It was just a fun thing to watch, and you also have the chance of winning, of winning something for free. So uh, definitely stay tuned for that. Guys, have a great, great day. As I just said a moment ago, if you enjoyed the video, and you feeling it, consider going down there, subscribing, joining the hashtag NanoFam, because there's a slap and like on the video. Guys, have a great, great day. Keep on keeping on NanoGenics and off, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.